That's another open eye. This is what happens when you wear goggles. You get goggle face. Today we're gonna make a green fire tornado. Then we're gonna make a pink fire tornado. And then we're gonna attempt to combine them into a swirl of the first ever pink green fire tornado. Also, because fire looks really good in slow motion, we're gonna be shooting on this really fancy camera called the Canon C200. This thing is really expensive. It's like as expensive as a car. We've used this in the past. We shot this experiment called Black Fire Flamethrower and it just looks so good, it looks so awesome. I wanted to bust it out again for today's experiment because fire looks great on the C200. The first step is to get the fans in place so we get the right vortex to create a fire tornado. True story here, <clears throat> working on this really big YouTube video. I was out in the desert and I was sprinting full go and I pulled my upper butt muscle. So like the top of my gluteus maximus and it hurts so bad. I can't like bend over and pick up heavy stuff, so I'm gonna ask my cameraman, Sam, to move the cinder block for me. Great. <laughs> Are you down or what? I guess so. <laughs> so we're gonna be using these cinder blocks because as the fire is going, uh, we need to create the vortex up here, not too far down or else it doesn't catch the fire and actually bring it up into the fire tornado. So this one's busted. Sam? Okay, I'll get a new one. But. It's I'm sorry, fine. I'm gonna have to let you go. Don't Corporate you. policy, sorry. So, uh, is this the sacrifice you're making here? Very interesting pattern. I summon the Underlord. Uh, just kidding. Science? Now I'm gonna move him back by about a foot. Next step is plugging all the fans. The first chemical that we're gonna be working with is boric acid. And so boric acid is used as an insecticide. It kills cockroaches. Also ironically, it's a fire retardant. So I don't really know how that works out exactly, but we're gonna be mixing boric acid with some methanol. methanol. 900 milliliters. Yep. Yeah. The next chemical that we're gonna mix is pure metal lithium and methanol. So I have some down here. Some of this I just ordered offline and the other bit of it I uh, took out of a lithium ion battery, which is just a regular like AA battery. I just ripped it apart. It oxidizes very quickly so it turns that dark uh, black color. These little pieces right here don't dissolve very well. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna flatten them out so that when we Combine that with our methanol, they dissolve a lot easier. It's really weird to see a metal dissolve into a liquid. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna turn on all the fans and then we're gonna put some methanol in our metal little tub here. And we're gonna get the fans exactly correct so that we have the perfect fire tornado before we start adding some color to it. So, flame on. <laughs> let's light her up. Let's get lit. Let's, let's just do it. Adjustments? Yeah, I think right now it's too wide, so I'm gonna try to go in. Yeah. We should have it pretty fast. Inside the tornado. Alright, try again. Wants to do it. It's close. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, boy. Oh, man. Oh, that's good. That's real good. That's real good. Woo! Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Okay, I feel really good about that last one, so I think we're ready for our first color. So we're gonna do boric acid and methanol, and uh, we're gonna see what color that produces. There we go. That 
was boric acid and methanol and you saw that it made a really, really awesome green tornado. So now we're gonna do lithium and methanol. I summon you! <laughs> oh my god! That's, that's so cool looking. That is so wicked. There's just so many different colors. Whoa! That is wicked. Wow! Oh my, whoa! That was as big as me! That was a really good one last time. So the very next step for our last finale, our swirl, I'm just gonna put a line of sand in our giant tub here, and I'm gonna separate the sides pink and green. Now we might get some spilling over from one to the other, but we're trying to mix them anyways. But let's see what happens. Wow. Wow. Oh, the green's coming through. Whoa! Oh my god, this is big. Oh, it's just yelling at us. That is crazy. I'm not seeing a lot of green, but it's really cool. Ah. Uh. I forgot to add the boric acid to that last one, so it just was a really, really good pink tornado. That was my bad. Pink green tornado, take two, with actual green. There we go, this is really nice. And now I got a great green tornado. Whoa! Whoa! All right, the pink's coming through. I feel like I can see some of the pink trying to get in there. Wow! The green tornado is insanity. Oh my god, that thing's as tall as me. There we go. Green and pink. Coming through. There we go. Yeah. Oh, it's coming. I can see the green. Oh, the pink's coming in. We got green and pink. There we go. Yeah. Oh, dude, that's so sick. Oh my gosh, it's both! It's green and it's pink! Okay, there we go. We made a green fire tornado, then a pink fire tornado, and then combined the two for the first ever pink green fire tornado. Uh, if you guys like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up in the comment section below. Let me know, have you ever seen a pink green or pink green tornado? If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you really soon. That's it.